Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Here we are in my kitchen and this green thing in front of me is my worm composter. So I've got two trays of worms going right now, but they are super, super full. So my video today is gonna show you what's going on inside the worm trays, but then I also picked up two more worm trays um, just because, you know, it's December. I cannot put these babies outside. Plus, I really wanna have a lot of worms and a lot of compost within like three months from now. Um, in three months, I'm gonna actually start my seeds, some of my seeds indoors. Uh, I'll be planting my tomato seeds on March 17th because that's when my grandma always did it. So starting March 17th and there on out, I would say every couple weeks after that, I've got something else I'm gonna be starting indoors. So I do wanna have a ton of compost. Also, when I actually plant my garden, you know, I'll start planting stuff in the ground in like April and then the rest of it in May. I wanna have a ton of compost for then. So anyway, we're gonna take a peek inside the composter. I'm gonna show you what's going on in both of the trays. You are gonna be crazy surprised at how many eggs are in here, or maybe not. I'm always super shocked at how these babies just keep reproducing it's insane so yeah let's jump into it and get all crazy and dirty with my worms all right here we go Ooh. all right so on the lid you'll see there are tons of eggs just kind of everywhere the dark brown spots are actually like warm poop um, but the light all the light brown stuff like all in here they particularly like to go in these little ridges all crazy eggs. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but if you get super, super close, all of those tiny little brown eggs are actually moving. All right, so now we are in the top tray. Again, you can see all of these eggs. Um, I did feed them somewhat recently, but this is all basically compost. Most of this, like all this brown stuff, this is what I'm actually gonna be using for planting. So I think what I'm gonna do today, I will not feed the trays that I have in here currently. I'm gonna start up the new trays um, and I'm only going to feed the new trays. All right, and here we are in the bottom tray. Again, same thing. You know, there's not a whole lot of food left. Um, they've eaten most of it and this is all just like super, super rich compost. So again, I'm not gonna do anything with this tray. All right, and let's take off this tray. All right, so here we are in the bottom part in the reservoir. This generally just fills up. You know, I try to dump this out every couple weeks. If you did have flowering plants um, that, you know, didn't produce any fruit or veg that you were gonna eat, you could save this. You could, I believe you're supposed to dilute it with water and then you could put it on those plants, but I don't do that. I just toss this. All right, so I've got this reservoir all cleaned out. Um, I did rinse out some of it. You'll see like some of this sludgy stuff remains, whatever, it's fine, but I do generally try to rinse out a lot of this um, now there is a spigot on the bottom that little black thing is a spigot so if you really wanted you could just you know open that up uh, and put a container under it and drain this all off I choose not to do that just because uh, this my worm composter actually sits on some beige carpet and we are renting so I really don't want to worry about having any leaks or anything um, or any spills of worm juicy stuff uh, on carpet. All right, so now I'm gonna mix up some vetting for these new worm trays. So as I said, I'm gonna use both of them. Um, so I got a block of this coconut coir and a little bag of like newspaper, shredded newspaper. Um, if you're gonna use just one tray, you use half of all this. So because I'm doing both, uh, obviously I need the whole block. So basically you just dump this into a bucket with water. So I probably have maybe like two or three quarts of water in here. I can't remember exactly how much I'm supposed to have, um, but you just plunk this in. Oh yeah, okay, so it says at minimum 1.2 gallons. Okay, so I might be adding more water to it. So anyway, we're just gonna let this sit in here um, and let it expand. All right, so most of the coconut coir is good to go. I do need to add a little bit more water into this. Um, there are a few tiny little bits that just need a little bit more love. 
and I'm gonna help it along and just kind of break it up a little bit. So nice thing about the coconut coir, using this for bedding, um, let's say you forget to feed your worms or your worms just don't have enough food, they will eventually eat their own bedding too. Uh, so that's super nice. So it gives them a nice place to kind of hide and feel safe, but then it's also uh, some nice chow for them. All right, so that is basically good. I'm gonna set this to the side and then bring back this baby. So I'm gonna take one of my new trays, put it in here. So I did actually put a few pieces of wet newspaper in here. That's just gonna kind of help these new worms, you know, from falling through the holes in the bottom because Obviously these trays do have holes underneath. So what I'm gonna do now is take, you know, about half of this coir, dump it in. And I'm trying to be kind of equal about where I take it from. I'm trying to get enough from the bottom because the bottom stuff is very, very wet. I don't want it all just to be like the top stuff that's slightly drier. All right, that seems to be about half. And then this bag of newsprint that came with, I honestly can't remember if I'm supposed to, you know, put this in to that bucket or just dump it in. It really doesn't matter. The worms are gonna eat this anyway. Um, and there's plenty of moisture coming from the other trays, so it's totally fine. All right, so that is perfect for one bed. Um, I have some food ready. I'm gonna dump some food into both of the new trays just because I don't feel like feeding them again tomorrow. So anyway, this is some food. I've got some green tea leaves on here. I actually just made June this morning. Uh, so I'm gonna put some of that in. You could totally just dump all this in. I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna kind of baby my worms. I've got some pomegranate shells here, some ginger peels. some carrot peels. And then in here, I've got some old cilantro I wanna dump. Um, that was just in the fridge for a little bit too long. And then this in here is actually all juice pulp. I made veggie juice this morning. So I'm gonna dump about, you know, half of that in here too. All right, so I think that looks about perfect for a new bed. Now what I'm actually gonna do is scoop some of my other worms. Um, you know, some of the compost, I just wanna really get a jump start on these trays. So I'm gonna dump some already, you know, made compost, but also some worms and eggs into this new tray. These worms will be so happy. They got all this new food, this nice new cozy bed. Oh, that's heaven. Heaven for worms, huh? So by doing this, like separating the worms out and you know adding some trays in here, I will have a lot of reproduction. The worms will really start to reproduce even more than they have been. Um, but it's just gonna give them more space to do their thing and you know, I did feel like they were getting a little bit uh, compact in here. It was just, it was definitely not enough space for them. All right, so that to me is perfect. Now I'm gonna put on one of these, uh, my old trays. Yep. And I would say like this lettuce and this other stuff in here, actually I think that's cabbage. I would say in about a week, maybe two weeks, all this will be gone. This will just be like a beautiful, smooth layer of compost. All right, same thing in this second new tray. I'm just gonna put some damp newspaper in here and get this other bed going. My God, my, my composter is so big now, I have to stand up. All right, so that is it for the coir. Now a little newspaper. Oh. And then the rest of the food. All right, and then again, I'm just gonna put in some of these worms, some of the already done compost, and then we'll be done. Look at all those eggs in that. That's an avocado shell that still has not been eaten completely. There are just a gazillion little worm eggs in there. It's crazy. Oh, all right, and then finally, this is the last tray. So the idea is that the worms are gonna go from the top tray down into the next empty tray, and then also the other full tray, they will go down to the tray below it. Um, and just kind of migrate down and start working their magic in the other trays. Come check out the worms. No. Come on. Come here. Come here. You curious? You want to see the worms? Oh boy. What's that, Mom? 
What is that? Oh, kitties. What is a what are these what is this worm thing, Mom? What do you think? All right, so there you have it. That is how I did my expansion for my worms. I will not go any bigger than this with the trays. I never want to have that many worms that I actually would need five or six trays. I was very reluctant to buy an extra set of trays. Um, I should have dumped more compost and more worms during the summer to just really reduce the population, but oh well, it's fine. I will have loads and loads of compost for the growing season. So if you are interested in this type of composter, it is called the Hot Frog Living Composter. I got my original one off of Costco. I wanna say it was about 90 bucks. Um, and then the expansion trays I did order off of Amazon and they were 50. So anywho, I shall keep you posted of my worm composting journey um, but basically yeah just every couple weeks I'm gonna feed them um, and probably like every two weeks I'll be draining this liquid from the bottom. The worms are very self-sufficient. They're very, very low maintenance. Um, the only thing I have noticed in having worms, if I'm gone for a long time, like sometimes we've been gone on vacation for about 10 days, when we come back, I have noticed a few worms that have escaped. So I think at that point, they've basically just gotten hungry. Um, so I generally do try to feed them at least once a week. Just kind of depends what I'm cooking. You know, if I have a lot of vegetable scraps or if I have a lot of tea, Tea, um, from brewing kombucha in June, that all that all gets fed to the worms. So I would say once I hit like May or June and most of this compost is gone, I'm probably gonna actually take the trays and wash them. Um, Cause there is, you know, some like black stuff around the edges. I'm totally fine with it, but my husband is super grossed out by it. And he thinks it's super weird. Um, so for his sake, I will, give this like a nice thorough bath this summer when I don't actually need all of the trays. So anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of people have been very interested in my worms and all that. Um, they're great. I love my worms, super low maintenance. You just gotta feed them every now and then and take out the liquid from the bottom. Otherwise I felt like the compost really added some extra great nourishment to my garden last season and I'm super excited for my garden this year. So anyway, if you do worms, if you're interested in doing worms, leave me a comment. I would love to hear about your experiences uh, with worm composting. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.